Hi there, it's Jennifer Trask and welcome to this episode on how to own being the CEO of your coaching business. Now, this is a really interesting topic because I've been talking to about this with a lot of my clients and I think that this is one of the biggest missing pieces in coaching coaches becoming successful business owners. So I always say that there are two major skills you need to learn in order to have a successful coaching business. So the first is to become a master at your craft, which is whatever type of coaching that you're doing. That in itself is a skill. The other is to become a master entrepreneur, and a master at running your business. And this is where a lot of coaches tend to have their downfall. And the reason is not because they can't learn it, it is because Oftentimes, I think first, they don't even recognize that as a skill set in itself. And then second of all, they assume it's something that they can learn really quickly. And that should just easily fall into place if you're good at coaching. But the reality is that to master any skill, um, it takes a very long time. It takes a lot of time, effort, focus, energy. I mean, I I think the saying is that it takes 10 years to become a master at anything, right? Now, that doesn't mean it's going to take you 10 years to become profitable by any means. But what it does mean is that you need to recognize that this is a skill set to become the CEO of your company, to run it in a way that it's profitable and sustainable and enjoyable is a skill set. And beneath that main skill set are many, many skills, are are many hours of practice, are are many um, opportunities to be open-minded to what is next for your business and what is the next skill you need to learn, what's the next team member you need to bring on, what's the next training you need to acquire. And I think that when you can begin to really wrap your head around the fact that you're trying to learn how to run a business, not just be a great coach, then things start to click more. And because I always say, I always say like, it's okay, you know, chill out, you have time, right? Because people are always in this rush to get results and rush to get somewhere. But the reality is that learning to run a company can only be done through time and through trial and error and through failure and through successes. And so you can't do all that in some short time frame that you declare you necessarily want it. Those, those are things that you need to unfold. And the biggest thing that I have discovered is that you don't know what you don't know. And sometimes that can really help you because if you go into something blindsided, you can catch some luck and you can bypass some things because you didn't expect it to happen. But oftentimes what I find for most coaches is that not knowing what they're not knowing ends up hindering them for the reason that they end up beating themselves up for not being farther along and not really realizing, hold on, you're doing just fine. You have a lot of things to learn and you're, you know, right on schedule. It's interesting because I had a conversation with a client of mine. We've been working together for about a year and, and we did this exercise where I got her to take stock and I said, I want you to think about Uh, where you were two years ago when you began your business and where you are today. I want you to think about all the things that you've learned, all the things that you've overcome, all the new beliefs that you now have, all the things you're still working on. And she, you know, it's funny because she started talking and I was typing it out for her so she'd have it. And then you could see this like, wow, come over her face because she really realized how far she's come, which I I recommend this exercise to everybody because I don't think we do it enough. And I think if we did this more often, we'd really see how awesome we are, right? And how capable we are. 
But that's the thing is, she's like, yeah, I had no idea there was this much to learn. And then we were, we, uh, we were talking about like where she is and where she wants to go and to think about, wow, like think of in two years time again, where you're going to look back and be like, wow, all this happened and I didn't know that and that and that. And so the journey becomes so much more fun when you let go of this idea that anything should take X amount of time or that you should be here, or should be there. Because I really believe the reality is when it comes to this entrepreneur thing that, you know, there are so many facets to it. There's so much to learn that if you don't just put on the seatbelt and get in and just decide to enjoy the ride, it's going to be very difficult because there is a lot to learn and it does take a lot. So how do you own being the CEO of your company? The first thing that you do is you ease into it and you decide it's a journey and that you don't need to know everything right now. And you always say to yourself every day, you know, what's the next logical step? Where is the next place that I'm going? And what you're going to find is when you can approach your business from that aspect, then things come easier to you. Then things come together in unexpected ways. You always get the next piece of information or skill that you need to go to that next level. So what I would love to do now is to hear from you and tell me like, Does this resonate with you? Have you had this experience where you maybe were shooting all over yourself and now you realize, wait, it wasn't even that bad. There's just, there's just so much to learn. And it's sort of like, what I find is it's almost like going into school, right? So if you're going to go into a five year degree, you're not going to get upset with yourself if in one year you're not graduated because you know it's a five-year degree. And so when it comes to entrepreneurship, I feel like people think, sure, I'll have this figured out in no time. And I'm like, hold on. (laughs) This is a serious skill to master. This is not overnight, not even in a year. It's going to take a long time. Again, that doesn't mean you won't be profitable or it's, it's a learning, right? It's like you have wins and you're learning, but The thing is that everything comes in phases and each person's journey is different and, um, and you just have to get really on board with enjoying that ride. And I think when you can ease into that, then it takes this unnecessary pressure off so that you can have more fun in your business and enjoy the journey of learning what's the next logical step. So that being said, I'd love to hear your comments on this as well. If you are on the journey and learning um, what it is you need in your business, I really want to encourage you to sign up for the Ultimate Coaching Business Foundation checklist, um, which you can get below on the blog, because in this checklist, I've got everything you need uh, to help you go full time in your coaching business, along with a free video series that explains a lot of it so that you can say, all right, okay, I have this, I have this, oh, I don't have this, and guess what? It's the next logical step. Ah, I love it. Okay, so with that, thanks so much for being here. Grab the checklist, let me know in the comments um, what, if if this was helpful, if it resonates with you, and if it does, please do share it with a friend. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.